The last activity for today is we are going to be adding value to both of these forms down at the bottom. Now for these, you can pick any combo of three colors. I'm going to go with this lemon yellow, turquoise, and purple because I like a lot of contrast with my lighter colors. So just as we did before, we want to add value to this. Now you can use any of these techniques. I think I'm going to use cross hatching for my first one. Again, you get to choose what technique. I'm going to build this up from the bottom or from the dark side, following the curve of the sphere. I'm going to do the same thing this direction also, following the curve of the sphere. And when I get up here, I can even go around that to really showcase that highlight. So now that I have my light colors and I can make my shadow coming out. Now I'm doing cross hatching. So I can add lines going both directions. Now with my medium, since this circle's a little bit bigger, I can really start adding in some of those lines and trying to blend into that top. So notice how I'm following the curve. I'm gonna follow the curve here too, but I'm gonna start pressing lighter and lighter as I get closer up to the actual top. Now, so far, we don't really have a lot of contrast with these two colors, so they blend pretty easily. Again, I'm going to come this direction and cross again. But now, when I go in with my darker color, we're really going to start to see some of that change. Now, my bright yellow is kind of preventing my colors from going down, which is a good thing and a bad thing, because it's stopping me from adding too much color but also allowing me to keep that reflective spot and still see some of that color coming through. There we go. And now I can start to do my shadow darkest towards the sphere itself, crossing both directions and really bringing that in there. So there is my first one. We have that light, that medium, and that dark, and we can even build up some more of that medium or light if we need to and build as we go. Now, for this one, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to have my light source coming from the top. That means it's going to be the lightest where the light is actually hitting. So here, here, and then it's going to be the darkest here with a little bit of light down there. So I'm just going to do plain hatching. You can do stippling. You can do scraffito. It's up to you. And then of course, we're going to have a shadow coming off of here too. Now I'm keeping the same three colors. You're more than welcome to change if you would like to, or you can keep the same colors. So now I can start building this up. Remember, I'm only going in one direction. So it's going to be lighter as it gets closer to that light. Again, lighter as it gets closer to that light source. And it's going to be really dark right here over the edge until we get down to the bottom where we have a little bit of that reflected light coming off of the table. So I can change my strokes from each section because notice they're still not crossing. And then I can start to build up that shadow. So just like the sphere, we're not really looking at a lot of contrast just yet, but now we can really start to build. So I'm actually gonna start with my shadow, always going in the same direction for that hatching. I'm gonna start pressing a little bit harder so we can really start to pull that shadow out and have some contrast against that. Then we can come over here and we can start to add some darkness from that top that's being blocked by the sides of the box and bringing this all the way down to that reflective part off of the table. Look at how beautiful those colors are at blending. And we can add just a little bit of the dark on the sides away from that light source. So with that being said, you guys have now learned how to not only blend with color pencils, multiple colors in that blend, and also four different techniques. 
hatching, cross hatching, stippling, and scraffito. I look forward to seeing your coloring technique sheet.